Hello, welcome to my channel where you can learn some interesting facts. Today video is about hookup culture and OnlyFans. This video contains AI opinions and there is no intent to harm someone. But if your feelings are harmed easily, you should not watch this video. Facts do not care about feelings. Facts and informations regarding hookup culture and OnlyFans as well as some potential solutions for women who want to avoid the negative effects of these cultural phenomena. Facts about hookup culture and OnlyFans. Hookup culture refers to a culture that promotes casual sexual encounters without emotional commitment or long-term relationships. Hookup culture is often associated with negative consequences such as increased risk of stis and emotional distress. OnlyFans is a subscription-based social media platform that allows content creators to sell explicit content to subscribers. OnlyFans has been associated with concerns about exploitation and commodification of women's bodies. Both hookup culture and OnlyFans can perpetuate gender stereotypes and inequality with women often being expected to conform to traditional gender roles and men often being expected to be aggressive and dominant. Hookup culture and OnlyFans can also contribute to the sexualization and objectification of women. Hookup culture and OnlyFans may create unrealistic expectations about sex and relationships. The rise of hookup culture and OnlyFans may be related to changing social norms and attitudes about sexuality and gender roles. Hookup culture and OnlyFans are more prevalent among younger generations. Research has shown that women are more likely than men to experience negative consequences as a result of participating in hookup culture. OnlyFans has been criticized for creating a culture of exploitation and contributing to the normalization of pornography. Some content creators on OnlyFans have reported feeling pressured to create explicit content to satisfy their subscribers. Many people who participate in hookup culture and OnlyFans report feeling empty or unfulfilled after sexual encounters or content creation. Hookup culture and OnlyFans can contribute to a sense of disconnection from others and a lack of emotional intimacy. The stigma associated with participating in hookup culture and OnlyFans can create feelings of shame and guilt. Hookup culture and OnlyFans may exacerbate existing mental health issues, such as anxiety and depression. Hookup culture and OnlyFans can also contribute to negative body image and self-esteem issues. Many people who participate in hookup culture and OnlyFans report feeling pressured to conform to societal expectations about sex and relationships. The normalization of hookup culture and OnlyFans may contribute to a culture of objectification and dehumanization. Both hookup culture and OnlyFans can perpetuate harmful myths about sexuality, such as the idea that men are naturally more sexual than women. Women who participate in hookup culture or OnlyFans may face negative stereotypes and judgment from others. Women who participate in hookup culture or OnlyFans may also face a higher risk of sexual harassment or assault. Some women who participate in hookup culture or OnlyFans may do so out of financial necessity or as a means of survival. Women who participate in hookup culture or OnlyFans may feel empowered by their choices and reject the notion that their sexuality is something to be ashamed of. Women who participate in hookup culture or OnlyFans may also feel a sense of community and support from others who share their experiences. It is possible to participate in hookup culture or OnlyFans in a safe and consensual way with clear boundaries and communication. Women who want to avoid the negative effects of hookup culture and OnlyFans can prioritize emotional connection and communication in communication in their sexual encounters or content creation. Women can also seek out relationships or communities that prioritize respect and empathy rather than casual sex or objectification. 
Women can take steps to prioritize their own well-being and mental health, such as practicing self-care and seeking therapy if needed. Women can also advocate for more inclusive and equitable policies and practices in industries such as pornography and sex work to ensure that workers are treated with dignity and respect. Solutions for women to avoid negative effects of hookup culture and OnlyFans prioritize emotional connection and communication in sexual encounters or content creation. Seek out relationships or communities that prioritize respect and empathy. Practice self-care and seek therapy if needed. Set clear boundaries and communicate them to sexual partners or subscribers. Consider alternative forms of self-expression and creativity outside of OnlyFans. Surround oneself with supportive friends and family members who respect one's choices. Educate oneself on healthy sexuality and relationships. Speak out against harmful stereotypes and attitudes that perpetuate gender inequality. Advocate for more inclusive and equitable policies and practices and industries such as pornography and sex work. Be mindful of one's own values and priorities and make choices that align with them. In summary, hookup culture and OnlyFans can be problematic in the modern era, particularly for women who may be subjected to negative stereotypes, sexual objectification, and unequal power dynamics. However, there are ways for women to avoid the negative effects of these cultural phenomena, such as prioritizing emotional connection and communication, seeking out supportive relationships, and advocating for more inclusive and equitable policies and practices in related industries. That's all for now. Like and subscribe to help me bring interesting facts every day. Bye and have a nice day.